Hello everybody, welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today we have a big news. As you already know, Blizzard has just announced the new expansion that is Ashes of Outland, but it's not just about the new expansion. There are a lot of changes that will be coming to Hearthstone for the next month, so we will be discussing some of them. And of course, you know, my favorite class is Priest, besides Warrior, of course, but now they have announced that we, they will rework most of the Priest cards in order to just change the way the Priest is played right now. So it will change a lot and I have a lot of ideas about new decks that we can try for the next seasons with Priest. So let's talk, let's talk a little about the big announcement from today. First, we have a new class. We have the Demon Hunter. You know, Illidan is coming to her son. So this is just great. Demon Hunter, as you know, is one of the classes that was added to WoW when Legend just uh, arrived at the game. So now we have it, and this deck, this Demon Hunter deck, is just um, a little like a little hunter-like. The Demon Hunter is you look the cards that have been discovered for it, and the hero power that that Ilian will be having for this. We have the Demon Claws. Demon Claws is just a um, hero power that will, for uh, it costs one mana, and it uh, it gives one mana uh, one attack to the hero just that turn. Well, if you take a look at this, it's a it's very similar to the Druid without the armor part, of course. And also, it is this hero is designed in order to works with uh, demons, which is something that we will be expected, expecting about that class. Well, you know, he's a demon hunter. Um, interestingly, it has a lot of weapons that have been rebuilt for it, that are really pow powerful and will be, of course, will be very useful if you use them with the hero power. Um, most of the cards are combination of different effects that we already saw for different classes. classes. For example, Satyr Overseer, if you take a look, it's very similar, very similar to the Neutral Pirate that uh, summon a 1-1 one -one you, uh, after the hero attacks. So it is a little most powerful, of course, because it summons a 2-2 two -two Satyr, which is, of course, most more, more powerful than 1-1 one -one Pirate. But, you know, it's a pirate strategy, so it's very similar. In, some, in that way, and that it's a clear indication that Illidan will be a, an aggressive. If all the Illidan decks will be uh, aggressive, will be an aggressive approximation to the game. On the other hand, we have coordinated strike when where you summon three Lidari with rush. Okay, this is very very similar to the beast that is uh, that you can see for for Druid. But beasts need uh, all the beasts. When you summon this, it has one more. It's true. It's four beasts that attack one minion. Now this will summon the. Uh, you just sacrifice one uh, little rush, but the, the, you can use the the Illidari as you want. They are not expended in one just minion, so it's very interesting. We have also Feast of Souls that is clearly a token card where you just draw a card for each friendly minion that died, died this turn. Okay, it's clear, it's token. Finally, usually most of the token decks are designed to buff the tokens, and Illidari has no mechan mechanics to do that. So the idea here is to take advantage of the tokens, of course, but you will have a most of, in, mostly you will have a um, synergy with the death of your, of your little minions. So that's the idea. We have different cards like this. Raging Spell Scream. The next demon you play will cost two less. Wow, that's very, very interesting. Well, because most of the hikes, hikes minion will be, you know, are very expensive. And you can play some kind of shenanigans in the turns. Also, but uh, if you don't have any hike minion, that which is a very interesting, it's a very weird way to to form a different play against uh, besides the aggressive part that you can see 
in the Hero Power and the, and the initial cards of the Demon Hunter, this is more directed to a more controlish or tempo play for this kind of decks. Um, I don't know if you will see some play, but well, of course we have to see how it will work. Also, we have Pit Commander. At the end of the turn, you summon a demon from your deck. Oh, look at that, that stats. Of course, Warlock Legendary, you remember that. They are, but that one, the law, the old legendary from Warlock, summon all the demons that you have on hand, in your hand. But that was not so good. In fact, I, I, I used to play Warlock, control Warlock, and it's a little bad to summon all that card from your card and lose some battle cries. But of course, if you want to avoid the bad, the bad battle cries, it was great, but usually it's just too low. Now it will summon a demon from your deck for free, but the big thing that could make it, because it, of course it is really slow, 9 mana, is it has town. That town could be a difference. So let's see, let's see how it will work. In turn, in turn 5, in turn 10, for example, you can't. You, you can't use draw, this, uh, both, of, both of these cards, so it's not so... Eh, it's just a mech card, I, I don't know. I think they are trying, of course, of giving the option for the uh, for Illidan fans to also play control decks or maybe tempo. Uh, I will have to see. We'll have to see the, the, the rest card, the, of cards of expansion, but right now it looks very aggressive. These cards are just too slow. On the other hand, we have this Spectral Sight, School of Gul'dan, and I Beam. All of them use the new keyword for this new class that is Outcast. Outcast is just a bonus that you will have if you play the card. If it is just from the left, from the left or right most in your hand. So the Spectral Sight, of course, draw a card for two mana. That's uh, pretty pretty bad. If think about. <laughs> The engineering, the vice engineering, so and it doesn't have a body with it. But if you manage to use it without outcasts, you will draw two cards, two cards per two mana. That's great. That's uh, one mana less than Arcane Intellect, so it is amazing. Look at the school of Vuldan, draw three cards per five mana. Okay, not so good, but the outcasts will reduce their cost of their cards you just draw. Three. That's amazing, but that will be, of course, more um, a more tempo-oriented strategy. And I of I Beam has Life Steal. This deal deal three damage to a minion. Okay, it's quite similar to any Warlock removal that we have saw in the last expansions, and also it's quite similar to the to the Dragon Synergy card that uh, Control Guard can use right now, but. With the outcast, it costs zero. That's great. It's a bad, it's, it's a penance, a, a free penance. So it's just great. I think it will be a very good card for controlish leader. But I don't know if it, it, will, it will be enough to to push to push that kind of of use. Also, Illidan, uh, Illidan will be entering to the battlegrounds, and we will have that. Card in battlegrounds. I'm not playing a lot of them, but maybe I will try it. Of course, and it usually will it will have a hero power, a passive hero power that will be very similar to the one that you can see in the Hearthstone, in normal Hearthstone. So this is just one of the hugest things we will see, we will be seeing. But besides that, we will have a lot of new introductions. For example, and let's take a look in the all new cards that have been announced. All of them, I think, will just change completely the meta right now. Of course, we already talked about this, but let's talk about the other classes. We have Tyrion Gorfind. Okay, weird card, <laughs> really weird card. Um, it's just a 3, 3, 4, normal stats. That's very common, but and, and that's, it's a very good stat line, but also the battle cries destroy all free and minions. Okay, you will destroy all your board, 
but the dual rattle is just to resume on all of the minions you just destroyed with 1 plus 1 plus 1. I don't see any deck that will be using this card. I think it will not be played by now, of course, we still have to see. Maybe you could talk, you could be you will be thinking in some kind of deal rattle rogue that try, that try to take advantage of this, but well, he still needs to die. And what if you destroy all your board and then the 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 opponent just silence it? That will be not so good. Okay, we we have to remember that my the that the neutral silence that we still have it will be will be. Hall of Fame it, but still there are classes that can run some kind of silence, so eh, I don't think it will be any be seen any play. Oh, this one, for Warrior, my second best class. Whenever your hero bolt take damage, this loses one durability instead. That's crazy. Look, it has four charges. So, let's see. Oh, the other opponent has a uh, little. Well, don't worry. Just put this bulwark and it will stop that huge damage that is coming to your face. And will just not be taking damage. That's amazing. That's even better than any other... Um, that's a lot of armor that you could have. That's great. And also you could associate this. It's not so expensive. It's just 3 mana. So you will be able to combine it to any other survival strategy. This will be great for Control Warrior. I think I will be running. That card, of course. I will have to test it. Arch for Mishfin. Taunt. Another 3 3 4, but it is the new mechanic that we that I think we will be seeing for uh, one of these cards for H class that is the added rattle that shuffle out an improved card in your deck. Remember that old uh, legendary, that old shaman legendary that, uh, that, that was a 5 5 with Taunt, with Taunt that. When it dies, it just uh, shuffle 10-10 uh, with Tone in your deck. It's almost the same, but the the shuffle card is a prime card that is improved from this. You know, uh, Ash for Smith Finn, it's a great card. That I think this will be the next uh, strategy for this, for the decks that we'll be getting. It's a lot of strength to, I think, to push a little the control decks that are a little, uh, that are lost right now. We don't have control decks. We just have combo, tempo, and of course aggressive decks. So these ones, this one will be patch that kind of strategy. We have Ash for, Ash for Mishfin, very good strategies. It also has town, has stone, so it's great. And you will get in be this great card, Mishfin Prime. It also has stone, and also it's a choose one. Summon a nine fine, nine nine fungal giant with taunt or rush. So think about it. For 10 mana, you will get in 18, 18 you know, stats, and one of them, and both of them can have taunt. Will be crazy. Also, it's a choose one, choose one card. So, think about the quest. It will be have a, a great synergy with that. But two minions with taunt, and one of them with rush. Nine nine. That's just crazy. So this card will be great in that kind of deck. I, I, I think it will see a lot of deck, a lot of game of, of play with quest rate. We also have the Imprisoned Satyr. That is another strategy we'll, see, we'll be seeing with this, uh, by this expansion, where we have this kind of dormant for two turns. And with it, when the card awakens, we'll have a, a, an impact, a very important impact on the board or your hand. This one will reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by 5. Mm, I think it will be good, of course, we are losing a, the lots, uh, lots of cards that will be reducing the, the, card, the, the price of cards on your hand. Mm, but uh, it's still random, it still has to wait turns, you will have a 3-3 three, three dormant, so I don't know. It depends. If the meta is, is not is slow, is really really slow, it will be a lot, it will be very useful. But if the meta is really aggressive, I don't think it will be seen any kind of use. It besides, of course, the in comparison with the arch with the arch board that is just amaz amazing. We also have this uh, dark portal for warlock. Draw minion. If you have at least eight cards in hand, it costs five less. Okay. It's weird. Mm, still, it's for for 
4 mana for draw minion. Uh, I don't think it will be a good card. It just look like a little like a path filler. Maybe if you are crazy, <laughs> luckily crazy, you will be able to do any kind of shenanigan or big combo. But I don't think it will be seen in any play. Of course, you have the the, the, the warlock quest. So why do you need to use dark portal? Uh, let's see. But I don't think it will be seen in any kind of play. This one is great. Turn for two turns when this awakens. Deal 2 damage to all minions, enemy minions, which is crazy, it's very good. This one, in, in, in contrast with the Druid uh, version, has an impact on the board. And also it could combine it with any removal you have. That's great. Think about it, you played it in, in maybe in turn 5, it deals 2 damage to all enemy minions and you have on hand a flip strike. So it will be 6 damage to all the en enemy minions. That's almost clear any part at that level of, or at, at that turn. Also it can be combined with Blizzard and think about it, a lot of cards. So I think this one is good for Control Mage. But still, you have to manage to survive that two turns, so I don't know. But maybe, for because the impact, it can be a little useful. useful. Lady Bash, very good card. It's, of course, impulsing the Shaman spells. It has spell damage plus one, and also added a the rattle that it will be true for the Prime version in your deck. This Prime version is very interesting. It's a Batch Prime that has, again, spell damage plus one, but it will draw three spells and reduce, reduce their cost by three. That's very, very good. The only problem with this card is the stats line, it's a little weird for a 7 mana card, of course, the, the draw through spells and also reduce the cost is a very good effect, but, but I don't know, still you can, you could be able to get that spells you want to draw in your hand, and but that time maybe Bash Prime will be just waste, so uh, so it depends. It depends. Depends, of course, the, the, about the spells that Shaman will be getting this expansion. So let's see. Oh, I love this one. This is great because I love Control Warrior, and this is designed for that. So we, so we have Cargat Blade Fist, which, which has Rush that is great to, to trade in turn four. It has four four, so we will be able to trade with almost everything, and. The Prime version is just the thing you want to see. Cargat Prime, by 8 mana, you will have a 10-10 that has Rush, and also, whenever it kill attack and kills a minion, you will get 10 armor. That's great for survival. That's just the thing you want to see. Now they are pushing uh, a more uh, control rush strategy, so you will be able maybe to use different cards that you didn't never use it with rush think about the spirit this card surviving two turns will mean will be will mean that you will be able to gain 10 armor oh my god that's all to gain 10 armor by each attack 20 armor 30 armor each attack and kill some minion it's 10 10 of course you will kill some minion that's great i think this one will be one of my favorites for warrior i have to test it i just hope uh, the controls Decks could be making a comeback for this new expansion. Now we have the the legendary spell for for Illidari, for Illidan, and well, I don't have anything to say here. As you can see it is just to to the aggressive way. It's just let's go to the face fast. Swap your hero power to deal five damage. Then you can use it two times, and it will be uh, it will come back to the normal one that is just one mana, one attack, two turn, one turn. That is this will be an is the new hero power. Okay, that's ten mana, ten damage per two mana. Come on, that's crazy. But this one, of course, it's a it's clearly a hero power uh, and spell to be used as a bars to the face. In control, it will be really weird. Why do you want to have all that damage? So, this is a clear, a clear indication that you want that Blizzard wants this to be the new aggressive decks. 
the Demon Hunter decks. Now we have War Glaives of Asinat. Oh, I, I said it just meant bring back, brought me back so many remember, so many memories about the the warrior weapon that that had the same effect. After attacking a minion, your hero may attack again. Okay, that warrior weapon that and uh, doesn't see a lot, didn't see a lot of play. Well, because you will be getting a lot of damage if, while you are while you are cleaning the board. So uh, it's just weird and also that's in warrior that warrior has the ability to get a lot of armor and re and maybe in some way overcome that that problem with the weapon but i by now we haven't seen any kind of armor generation or immunity for the hero for the hero while while he is attacking so i think this card will be just a little man and also we have these three ones. We already didn't see this. A new secret for Rogue. Of <laughs> you have seen this before because the two three ambusher with poisonous that will be drop about ambush from ambush ambush is very similar, of course, to the secret of the hunter, where you just get a two a two three snake poisonous. So that's just it's good. It's good. The only problem with the secret besides the hunter is the hunter secret activates when you are already attacked so attacked so that's uh they the, maybe they just have one minion and and that is, uh, snake can survive and then you can use them but this one will activate if you if your opponent play and plays a minion that's a big difference now you can uh, the opponent can't see the the two three ambusher and maybe play around it so i don't think i think it's, it's normal but it's not so good Scavenger's Ingenuity, draw a beast, give it plus three, plus three. Well, it just costs two mana. You already have a lot of cards and can reduce the cost of a beast from on your hand. So I think in this card will be going in some kind, could be including some kind of hunter combo deck that will be trying to use, I don't know, King Crash or something like that. Well, you know, it's, it looks like a meme card. Because buffing a, ba a beast is not so great, and it's just just draw one. So, mm, okay, I don't think so great. Now that depends, but it will depend. Fungal Fortunes, draw three cards. Discard any minions draw. Oh, you have seen this before, of course. The this is the book, <laughs> the book of spells are from from Mage, but now the effect is just the opposite. You will discard any minion. It's very it's the opposite to the mage. So um, I don't know if we, you, we will be seeing uh, a druid deck that will be getting I don't know a lot of spells. Uh, um, I don't know. Also, if you can, if you have played against quest druid, the card draw that that deck have with the cards it, it he just have is enough. You don't need more card draw. You have no reach. You have the one four for two mana. You have the twin spell, the new twin spell that also draw card draws cards when you just completed the quest. So I don't think it, this card will be seen in any play by now. But maybe if, you, if, we're, if they reveal a lot of, of good spells, maybe. But I don't think so. And this is the card that right now you are able to play. To, tr to try in her turn. Okay, we have Kalta Sun Strider. Every tier spell you cast each turn will cost zero. Yeah, very interesting uh, strategy. So you have to play three spells and the, ter the tier one will be free. Uh, I have read a lot about this card and all the people is saying this has to be a tempo card for mage and bars mage. I don't think so. This card is just too, low for, too, too slow for that deck. Why do you need to play this card as, uh, at, at turn 6? By that turn, with Tempo Mage, you will be happy to be winning. So, why this card? We still have a lot of... You need the synergy, the synergy with the, the Apprentice and the Elemental and then generate a lot of spells. And why, where do you have a space for this card? This card, in my opinion, is not for Tempo. This is for Control. Think about it. I am thinking of trying this card in my deck, pre in my previous deck. 
Well, guys, think we can play, for example, Coeltas. Then you can use um, one pennant, for example. Then you can use silence on and hello, mass resurrection by free, for free. Or mind control for free. Priest is the class that has the best spells, but they are so expensive. They are clearly where, and they are so expensive that you can play them without uh, losing tempo. This card can be the trick can make that trick of using that spells that you want to use and also making uh, these kind of huge turns. Remember, we will be talking about the previous reworking and one of the things that you will see is most of the spells are costing, le are costing less. So, Kael'thas plus that cheap spells is just great because you can use that cheap spells for complete to complete the the requirement of the card and then you, you can play Mass Resurrection, Mind Control, all these kind of huge spells for free. That's great. And if you're playing Prius, you can resurrect Kael'thas. So it is it will be a, a, a little scary. <laughs> uh, besides, it's just like uh, Archmage Bar Bargot right now. So mm, I'm seeing it. I am seeing it in a huge deck and I am thinking of Prius right now because the spells it has. Of course, if they, if they rebuild more huge spells, I think I will think also in this card for that decks. Okay, besides Kael'thas, we have the second huge, huge news that are the Priest modifications. Okay, everybody, so to see that discussion, I invite you to see the part two from this video analysis of about the new expansion of Hearthstone. So thank you for following us and bye bye.